You're watching News Channel 11 at 6, the team you can trust. Mountain Home VA is under investigation amid allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Casey Marler. A pair of letters from the House Committee on Veterans Affairs published late last week reveal an investigation into reports of inappropriate relationships going back to January 2020. Those letters say VA Secretary Dennis McDonough first notified the committee of the allegations on July 16th and that local VA leaders failed to properly address reports of sexual misconduct. Those allegations came less than a month after Mountain Homes Director and Associate Director were reassigned. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson joins us in studio to explain the allegations and the VA's response. Catherine? Sarah Casey, Illinois Congressman uh, Bost's letters to VA Secretary McDonough reference inappropriate workplace relationships and harassment, but the details have been redacted. A letter from the House Committee on Veterans Affairs Chairman Mike Bost revealing, quote, alarming allegations of sexual harassment and inappropriate relationships between a subordinate and a supervisor at Mountain Home VA. Boss wrote in his first letter on July 25th that then director Dean Borsos and then associate director Dr. Colleen No initially dismissed the complaints. Both Borsos and No were reassigned in July. At the time, a VA spokesperson told News Channel 11 the reassignment resulted from allegations of, quote, wrongdoing and failure to follow proper procedure for investigations. Borsos has since resigned his position with the VA. The allegations didn't stop there. Late last week, Boss published a second letter citing new information from whistleblowers, revealing more details and adding allegations of sexual assault. Quote, this new information is extremely disturbing and leads us to believe there may be a serious culture problem at Mountain Home VA, Boss wrote in his second letter. Both letters included requests for documents for a committee-led investigation. We reached out to the VA for their response to the letters. A spokesperson told us that the VA had responded to each of the committee's questions by August 23rd. They wrote in part, quote, VA does not tolerate sexual harassment or sexual assault. We are treating these allegations with the utmost seriousness and have moved aggressively to investigate them and will take swift and appropriate action. Multiple VA agencies, including the Office of Inspector General are currently investigating the allegations. The VA added that a special risk assessment team will conduct a facility-wide review at Mountain Home. Sarah Casey. Catherine, thank you. U.S. Senators for Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn, provided a statement to News Channel 11 about this investigation. She said in part, quote, the allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault at the VA Medical Center in Mountain Home are serious and disgusting. And American taxpayers deserve thorough and immediate answers from the Inspector General's ongoing investigation, end quote. 